Okay, so we're going to go over how to import a customer list in your CRM system. So when you log in, you'll get this screen. You'll want to click on CRM and scroll down to customers. And the first thing we want to do is uh, add contacts, but we're going to actually be importing and we want to click on import advanced. So we'll click on this tab right here and it gives you um, a bunch of fields that you can import from this action. Uh, it may be more than you need, but that doesn't uh, matter for this import. The data that you don't need, you just leave blank. And Business Catalyst gives you a template to download and enter this data in Excel from and import it into this format. So go ahead and click on Download Import or download import template and that will launch your Excel. Uh, this first table is going to go over some instructions on what this table does and what you need to do to fill it out. Uh, the next table is the actual one that is the format that you'll need to set up your data in and you'll see many different fields some of them you may want to use, some of them you may not. Um, don't worry about that. The stuff that you isn't relevant, like username, password, date of birth, security zone, just leave those columns blank. Um, but you need to keep the headers. If you delete any of the headers, your import will fail. And if you read this note, it says that as well. The rest of this gives you information on uh, the certain fields and how to import that data. So uh, this is pretty cut and dry, pretty easy. Um, you can either just import this header field into a new form. I tend to just delete all these columns and rows in here and just cut and paste into this form exactly and then save it as um, the relevant file name that I am putting that data in for, i.e. my client name, date, and year. So I'm going to click out of that. Oh, you do want to save it as a uh, CSV file and with the headers um, or a comma delimited file. Just a, a quick note right there. If you just save it as an Excel, uh, you will not be able to import it. So I'm not going to save that. And you'll see that right there, that it says a comma delimited um, or, yeah, comma delimited CSV or tab delimited. So those are the two formats that are compatible. Once you have that done, go ahead and click on browse and find your relevant file. I'm just going to click on this one for demonstration. Um, it, you should see that file name right here. Uh, first row contains headers. That's correct. We want to keep that. Um, again, all this data whether you have it in there or not, these are the fields that you have to have. The next thing you want to do is scroll down to subscribe to and we do want to select monthly newsletter because this is where everybody will be put into the newsletter list as well as your CRM data. So go ahead and click that and click next and it's going to ask you if you downloaded the template. Go ahead and say okay. And of course, this is not your data. It gave me an error. If it comes up with this and you know you've done everything right, uh, give me a call and I'll try to step you through it. But you should get another box here that has your relevant data in there. That is what you want. And I believe it's going to say OK or import. If everything looks good, go ahead and do that. And all your data should be there. So that will get everybody into your CRM. The next thing you'll want to do for email marketing is click on the email marketing tab, go down to mailing lists, and you'll see the monthly newsletter list right here. Click on that. Um, you, if you scroll over to subscribers, this is where the data, you'll be able to see all your subscribers in there. And if you just want to add someone quickly, and I would recommend if you didn't put yourself in that list to add yourself right here because you do want to see how those emails are coming through and when they're dropping. So you can add someone really quick right here in this little tab. 
The next thing I'm going to show you is the email and how to attach your list. So I've uh, set up the email that um, Matt sent to me. Um, and I'm not going to step you through all of that right now, but I'm just going to show you how to attach your recipients. So just go over here to the recipients tab and I'm going to pretend like that wasn't there. And you just click on this window and again, here's the monthly newsletter and once your data is in there you should have a certain amount of numbers and there they are click next and I'm going to click over to content and there's your email and I'm sending you a proof of that and then when you're ready to send everything's good you've got your recipients listed in there you go over to preview and send and this is just a mock-up a brief what it's going to look like in your browser I always recommend sending yourself a test and if you have a couple different email services send them to those addresses as well just to make sure nothing's blown out or looks funky so to do that you just click on send a test and because I'm logged in, it defaulting to my email address. If you're logged in, it'll default to yours, or you can just erase it and put whatever email address you want in there and click send. And make sure that everything looks good in those uh, email browser options. And then when you're ready to send, just click send campaign. Um, it's going to give you an option. We don't have all the data in there, so it's kind of going to default to nothing, but it will give you an option of um, you know to send before you launch and when it's going to send. Um, I'm going to go back real quick to the details here and show you how do you set up the date of when to send and the delivery option is where you go and it's going to be a one-off and you can click on the date that you want. I have it set up for Monday and at 12 a.m. but you can choose whatever time um, and uh, I'm actually going to push it out to Saturday just to, in case that you guys want to change it before then and it's not going to go and do nothing so um, that's all you need to do in there okay so let's set that time and go back to preview and send so if you send the campaign it would say delivery time April 19th at 12 a.m. in format HTML, which is how we set it up. So there you go. It's really quite that easy. I will do another uh, tutorial on how to actually set up an email that's a little more involved. But um, for now, this is how you can get your customers in your CRM put them into the email list and attach them to a campaign and send it out. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call. Okay, thanks.